So what I want to show you how to do here, <clears throat> I got a seahorse that I just went and found an outline of a seahorse and I use birch plywood, you know, the plain, uh, very low grain plywood. And I wanted to make it look like it was on pallet wood. So this is an actual photograph of the seahorse when it was finished. So again, this is birch plywood that you're looking at, but I gave it a faux finish that is actually has the depth of the grain cut into it. So it was lasered in. So it actually looks like it's an old wood piece and it's not. And we'll show you how I did that real quick. So we'll use a rabbit, for example. Let me move this down out of the way here. <clears throat> so just take any outline. And again, this is just for demonstration purposes. I'm not using somebody else's images uh, for profit. So I come here and I copied it and I go back to Lightburn. <clears throat> and I'm going to paste it in there. Okay, so now I just want to trace this image real quick. So I right mouse click, trace image. I just want the rabbit. Hit OK. And there's a way you can really quickly and easily just pull the rabbit part out of there. But now that I have this, I just want to show you a few other things. So what I want to do is separate the rabbit from uh, the grass and the, the double lines and all that stuff. So just simply control U or ungroup. And, th and this is the only piece of the rabbit I want right here. The rest of it, I just highlight down and up. And it just highlights all most of the, uh, the item. And uh, you can simply delete it at that point. So there's what I want. And I want this rabbit to be turned into wood grain before I actually um, uh, engrave it. So I simply go on the internet again. And I type in wood grain or whatever search criteria you want to use. <clears throat> and... I just want to be clear, it's best to click on tools and get the size changed to large. That way it gives you a good, uh, high quality picture. And let's just say this is the wood grain I want to use right here. So I click it and I right mouse click, copy that, and go back to Lightburn and click off the rabbit, right mouse click, and I want to paste in the wood grain. All right, so this is the wood grain I have. I'm going to resize it down to where it's more uh, compatible with the rabbit. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to adjust that image a little bit. I want to bring out the wood grain. And the one thing I like to do is just simply come here real quick and I always enhance it about that much. And I just pull this over just a little bit and um, bring gamma down just a little bit and mess with the contrast. And that's usually what I do. Just those settings right there. Then on the seahorse, I actually changed the DPI to 600 and I have an 800 or I'm sorry, an 80 watt CO2 laser. And so the settings that I used was a speed of 400, um, a power of 20 and, um, basically it burned it in there perfectly. And I also found having a lens that's approximately 63 millimeters up from the surface of the material is best. It really works better than having the lens, you know, that far from your material. So mine's more like this and it works fantastic. Um, simply hit OK. Now I want to apply that wood grain and the reason it looks, I'm going to go back to this real quick. The reason it looks a little bit uh, fuzzy is because I have it on grayscale. I want to change it to dither or Stucky, or Jarvis, any of those, hit OK. And then you want that appearance right there. You can leave it on grayscale if you like. Now what I want to do is click the rabbit. And for this to work, you cannot have the rabbit image set to fill. It has to be set to line. Now you just simply right mouse click, and you apply mask to image. And notice that it's not on the rabbit. And that's the reason, because I didn't have the rabbit actually in there. So I'm... I, one thing I could do is click off like this, click on this and pull it over and I can pull that wood grain wherever I want it. So if there's a knot that I want on there or something like that, and you see there's an imperfection right there, it actually looks like an eye. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. The next thing I want to do is highlight both of those again. Control A, right mouse click, and I want to flatten image. What that will do, it will take 
that rectangle you see and bring it down to the size of the rabbit. That way it doesn't make your machine uh, go outside of the boundaries. So I'm just going to hit flatten image like that. And then we're ready to go. All I have to do now is the first thing I would have done before I did all this was cut the rabbit out and just leave it setting there. Then apply this mask to it. And then when it prints, it's going to print that wood grain right into that Baltic birch. I hope that helps you out a little bit. Uh, and that's pretty cool how that eye came out right there. That was not the intention of this video. I hope that helps you out. And again, sorry, I don't edit videos. I just post them. So have a good day.